Got it. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to another great episode of One Million Cups. This is a great organization. I'm happy to be here every morning on hump day. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that commercial. Do me a favor. Um, please grab your cell phones. Please check into the One Million Cups app. Uh, it does two things for us. Number one, it gives us credit for you being here today. And number two, uh, we do get um, swag, you know, like T-shirts and coffee mugs and that type of stuff. And they give us points based off of the number of people that check in to the app. So if you don't mind, please check into the app. Uh, if you have presented with us and you haven't received a coffee mug yet, please stop by uh, Office Evolution and John will hook you up and make sure that you get your coffee mug. Plus, he'll give you a tour of his beautiful office. All right. So entrepreneurship, community, and education is what we're all about. Uh, we're, we've been doing this since 2018. Uh, every Wednesday, we started on Valentine's Day because we love business owners. Our mission at One Million Cups is to lower the barrier of access to education, resources, and community, excuse me, connections for all types of new and aspiring entrepreneurs throughout the United States. So just because you may not live in the DMV or Virginia doesn't mean that you can't participate with us because we are live on Zoom every week. Our key pillars are presentations, not pitches, authentic connections, not networking, and we're run for the community and by the community. We are all volunteer organization. I want to remind you that we are being recorded on uh, Zoom, and also we're on Facebook Live. Uh, in addition to that, I want you guys to you know, pay close attention to our culture. We're not here to sharpshoot anyone. We're here to support our presenter, make sure that we answer the questions that they present to us and help them out. Um, we will uh, kick you out the room. I got my bodyguards on standby. Uh, if you guys get out of line or you know, jump, on some, jump on stage like they did with, uh, with David Chappelle this morning, was that last night or something? Did y'all see that? That was yeah. crazy. <laughs> These people are going crazy. First Will Smith, now David Chappelle. Mm -mm -mm, crazy. Okay, let's get back on topic. Next slide. We would love for you to join our community. Uh, there are several ways that you can be a part of the community. Number one, we have a Facebook community. It's a Facebook group and a Facebook page. Also go to uh, One Million Cups forward slash Fairfax, um, if you would like to apply to present. Also, you can uh, follow our community there um, and then also be a part of our, uh, our newsletter. In addition to that, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. So all of those locations you can find us, please follow us there. If you see one of our posts, share it and invite some of your friends to get the goodness of 1 million cups. Next slide. These are our organizers. Our organizers are 100% volunteer uh, and they're happy to support you. We have a new, I'll say it again, a new organizer, uh, Leslie Arkillian. Uh, she's, a, she's a part of our, our, our crew now and let's give her a round of applause or a hand thanking her for joining our, our community. If you would like to be a part of this great community, please uh, let us know and we'll, we'll interview you and make you a part of this great team. Next slide. These are some of our ambassadors. If our ambassadors are here, please unmute your microphone and introduce yourself. We've got John Foster. Hi, I'm good morning, I'm John Foster. I am uh, with Green, uh, the ambassador for Green for Health and Wellness. And it is a, uh, an honor and a joy to be here on Wednesday mornings. It is a great way to kind of make that, uh, you know, Wednesday, Monday, so I get through the second half of the week. So it is awesome to be here. Do we have any of our other? That's it for today. All right. 
We also could not do this without our sponsors. Our space sponsor is Office Evolution. John Yu. Thanks, Darnell. Um, hello. Good morning, everyone. I'm glad that uh, we can be here today. Office Evolution is a co-working space located in Tyson's Corner. Uh, we've been uh, partnering uh, with uh, One Million Cups for the last couple of years. We provide space, meeting rooms, uh, virtual office for small business owners. Uh, if you're in town uh, or if you're in the area, uh, feel free to stop by. And if you're looking, if you have, would you like, if you'd like to uh, have a mug for uh, one here cups mug, uh, also please stop by. Uh, now let me turn it over to uh, Lisa, who is uh, with Leap High Creative, who is our coffee sponsor for the month, uh, Lisa. Hey, so um, I also want to speak out for John's wonderful facility. I am a member of the shared workspace. I get so much done when I am there. Um, and I love just the great energy that he and Megan have. There's a rotating cast of characters, people popping in with their businesses. So thank you all for giving me the opportunity to sponsor the coffee. Thanks, Lisa. Janelle, you're on mute. I knew that. I just wanted to make sure um, you guys could read my lips. No, I'm just playing. So without further ado, we have Ellie Goldstein, your social media BFF. That is so cool. I'm going to give you guys enough time to just scan that on your screen. I like that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. It makes you, it makes it interactive. I'm going to pull it up on mine. But Ellie. The floor is yours. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I love doing those QR codes. I think they're really cool. Um, if you do that, you'll get all my contact information and then you'll have it. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much, Rosemary, for coaching me, helping me come up with this question. Um, and also just for One Million Cups in general, I think you all are amazing. And I've been to a couple meetings throughout the years. I really, really appreciate what you all do. So my challenge question is how can I make the income from my side gig more consistent without over investing in it? I'll go ahead and move to the next slide. So what problem do you solve? I help people who need a social media BFF, someone who can provide consultation to social media questions and strategy to help them in real time to navigate social media growth. I went ahead and just put a little testimonial there from one of my clients. I loved Ellie's coaching and teaching approach. I definitely recommend this course to business owners looking to up-level their business and social media. So she's someone who's taken one of my courses. We can move to the next slide. Um, so here are a couple of my milestones. I was founded in 2020. Um, this was a good time to found, so to speak, because I started my first social media course in 2020. I filled that one up and then the pandemic hit. So all of a sudden I had a lot of business of people wanting to go through the course. Um, what I did was I enrolled uh, virtual classes, have a, a handful over 100, probably about 130. Um, I really would love to transition to one-to-one -one coaching, so more co consulting rather than the classes. Um, my goal is 10 clients. That would be great this year for 2022, just having 10 clients. And when I say client, um, that could be something where they signed up for one consult with me or where they're going to do multiple ones. Uh, my goal for 2023, that would be a reasonable you know, for my schedule and everything else would be two clients a month. So that would be kind of my idea and my timeline. We can go to the next slide. Um, so who are my customers? Um, mainly solopreneurs. So my coaching works really well for people who want to brand themselves. In other words, they are the face of their brand. They want to stand out as the face of their brand. A lot of different companies are different. I worked with a mortgage lender. We had to be real careful about compliance for her company, right? So I was able to coach her, but <laughs> was it my favorite client? Because there was a limit to what we could do. I mean, I love her, but you know, there was a limit to what we could do. Solopreneurs who own their own business are great. Um, small business owners are great. One of my most recent consults is our 
he's we're doing like he bought a whole package what we're doing is he is a coach for small business owners so he's basically a small business owner coaches small business owners um and anyone who wants to monetize social media i see a lot of people out there who are like oh hey i want to check this out but they don't know the first steps they're they don't know how to get started and they don't know how to actually keep on going with it so all right we can move to the next slide so um, this is our, these are my competitors or other cho choices. Um, this one, there was kind of, there was a couple spots and I was like, you know, honestly, it really is those SEO or social media management companies, which those are great, absolutely. Um, but they're more along the lines of we'll do your social media for you. I have a great friend. I highly recommend her. She does social media and branding, but she does it for people. So she's not going to be, you know, she can't make a reel for you or a story with with her face and then it's you. Um, so they do, they do social media for you. You don't really learn anything. Um, it can tend to have a more corporate feel. Again, this could be a great fit for very many brands because they need to have that corporate feel. Um, but it's not really the you behind the brand. So that's kind of kind of how it compares to other choices. I don't do SEO. I really teach people how to do it themselves. So can move to the next slide. All right, so what makes my company unique? Um, we provide one-to-one -one social media consultation and coaching. I, I named it your social media BFF because I really wanted to give it that feel of someone who is your best friend. I started the business because my best friends were always asking me about how do I get better at social media? I saw you do that one thing. How did you do it? How can I do it? And we would just sit and talk and I finally said, hey, why not? kind of offer this service to people. I know I could do it and I enjoy it. Um, I feel like the market is missing that BFF feel of a trusted friend that you can turn to for great advice um, and authenticity. Because at the end of the day, you, know, you can sign up for courses, you can you know, take something from the social media guru. I don't think really anything beats having somebody that you can talk to as your social media evolves and to really give you that authentic real-time advice. So, all right, we can go to the next slide. Thank you. Um, so back to my challenge question. I thought this was great. Thank you so much, Rosemary. Um, I would love to make the income from my side gig more consistent. Um, I hesitate to overinvest in it. It is the smallest of my four businesses that I do. I love it, but it's not something that is, I'm looking to have it take over the income from other things. And I don't want to necessarily spend a ton investing in, in growing it. I want it to be more organic. So um, yeah, that is my challenge question. I don't know if there's another slide that I need to ask before I turn it over. <laughs> it's time for me to take it over as um, okay, handling the discussion. That was a fabulous presentation, Ellie. Really Thank you. Well, had. I had the best help ever with the slides. Can you go back to the QR code in the slides that one was sure. asking? Let me, in the meantime, if anybody has any questions, would you please um, put your hand up? We have a question from Lisa. Thank you. I didn't see the hand. That's okay. I. Um, did it this way so oh, i cannot see that just so sorry. everybody knows i will not see your hands raised now we all know sorry about that i'm um I'll, i haven't had enough coffee today to manage zoom but i love your presentation ellie um i think social media is a great specialty for a side gig um because so many of us i work in communications and um so many of us get sucked into it and keeping up with the best practices is awesome, you know, and being able to offer that. So um, I think it's great that you have voice that you have courses available. And I guess my question would be um, knowing like how how can you target the people who need you in a personal way? So I think like being at events like this um, is super helpful, but like since you don't want it to take over your life, um, finding a way to let the people who need you know that you're there for them and then having an automatic signups thing like um, 
a tool like Calendly so that you can do your discovery calls and consultations on the schedule that the owner of four businesses <laughs> needs to have. So if you have the more that you can automate around this, it seems to me like even though you want the personal BFF angle, you can make your automation super personal. You know, like, hey, I'm so excited to for our discovery call on this day. Thanks for confirming. I'll see you then. Like it doesn't have, you know, so just keep the tone of those automations very friendly and personal and, and bubbly like you are. And then you can use that as your tool to keep the um to keep the hours that you invest down. Okay. Does that make sense? Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like Calendly. It really keeps it helps my brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is very, very helpful. Yeah. And then I think you're very right, Lisa. I like, thank you so much for the input because it is really true. I think the most people I'm going to connect with are really through face-to-face -face connections, especially because mm -hmm. that's what I'm all about. So thank you. Next, we have Rosemary. Hey, Ellie. So even though we talked about your business, I learned so much from your Presentation, thank you. Very crisp. Um, I had a different idea, but I love what Lisa said. So I'm going to kind of mix the two of them together. I love the idea of doing a Calendly. Um, I would suggest two approaches. One is you can target people, right? So you can have a, I'll call it a hit list, but it's a target list of people that you want to engage and take them in chunks, right? I'm sure if you sat down, you could probably list about a hundred companies or organizations that you would wanna go after and then bit by bit, you could reach out to them. Um, especially if you are going through Facebook and you realize that they could use your help with what they're doing. So that's kind of the pull um, effect. You could also do a push to the folks who have attended your um, virtual classes or the people that you've already helped, you can go back to them and say, I'm, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one con consultations, but I can only do 10. So who do you recommend that I reach out to or who do you recommend reaches out to me? And then whether you do Calendly, you could do something as simple as a, um, a Google um, form where you can have people basically say who they are, what they need help with. And then you can go back in and say, I can help you this month, or I can help you next month, or I can't really help you, or I'd love to help you. And this way you can, uh, you can be spoiled for choice. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Without really spending money on it and just leveraging um, what's available to you already with organic growth. Thank you. If you see me, I always like to tell people, if you see me on my phone, I'm taking notes. <laughs> so, I feel like it's 2022 and a lot of people take notes on their phone, but I always feel, I always want to tell them that like, Hey, I'm writing down what you're saying. <laughs> Cause Not it is a problem. <laughs> we will get you the recording and the chat thread after this and I'll oh, thank you. Notes in the chat thread. So if you need to take notes, that's great. Um, okay. and if you uh, need to be in the moment, we will get you the follow up anyway. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm going to go next because nobody has their hand raised and I've got a couple of huge ideas for you. Um, and that is to niche your marketplace. And what I mean by that is what about job seekers? You could actually do a free webinar and then have people sign up who are looking for a job. If you're not in that area of expertise, why don't you bring in one of the job seeker consultants and work with them and team with them? Same thing for other industries, uh, financial planners. I did a bunch of social media back in the early to mid first decade of this century with financial planners. I was brought in by Ameriprise um, to put something up in front of the reps. And then I ended up with a whole bunch of folks that needed help to know what they could do, what they couldn't do and how to do their presentation. And the third part of my idea, and this is really low hanging fruit, network marketers. They need to learn how to use social media for network marketing and building their uh, customer base. And again, if you don't have this expertise, find a consultant that you can partner with 
and work with them and have them work with people as well as you work with everybody. Um, if you can go after, instead of saying you need these people, if you can pick your top 10 industries and then take one each month and switch the industries up and start it off with doing a free webinar to people in that industry, advertise it on LinkedIn and other social media since you're the social media best friend, get it out, get your voice out there that you're going to be doing it for this specific group. You'll have your, your people before you can even um, start the first webinar that you start. Thank you. I did see one question from John. So oh, good. Because again, a... I, people are not raising their hands where I can see them. I can only see them in the participant That's okay. um, view. Thank you. So John, go ahead. Whichever John um, it is. Yeah, Ellie, great, great presentation. <laughs> um, Thank you, John. Now, just wondering, how do people find you? Uh, do you have a website where they can go and learn? So I don't yet. I just have my LinkedIn. And I will tell you, I need a website. But I struggle with finding someone that offers it at a reasonable price that I will ask about websites and 25 people will say, oh, I can do it. I can do it. And then it's like $6,000. And I'm like, I don't want to spend $6,000. So I don't have it right now. Um, if you know somebody that's like, hey, it's a couple hundred bucks. They can make me something pretty and nice that will work. Good functionality. That's great. But I have to say, okay, yay, Lisa, let's connect. Because <laughs> yeah, that's would... been a challenge. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Um, yeah. So there are websites that are do-it-yourself. Uh, but you do need, I, I believe that you do need great content. And I think, uh, I Thank believe you. that Lisa. Yeah, I'll talk to Lisa. I've, I've worked with Lisa before in the past uh, with content. She's fantastic. So definitely looking for her. Thank you. Yeah, it is a struggle for me, I'll tell you, because I, as soon as I say like, oh, I have a business, this is what I need help with. And then I get people, oh, I'll do it. I'm like, I can't afford that. I don't want to spend that much. So that's when I... That's why this, um, that's why I love 1 million cups so much. So yeah, thank so you. <laughs> go, GoDaddy.com or Wix.com that has a, all the templates that are there, pictures, okay. photos or whatever. But like I said before, content, um, uh, you, will, you will need to come up with the content. Definitely hook, hook up with okay. Lisa. She'll, she'll set you up. <laughs> she'll help me. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm looking for hands being raised. You're raising it. Physically, I can't see it. John Norris has his hands up. Go ahead, John. Hey, Ellie. Um, I have a question, not so much about your challenge question. I'm just curious about, you indicated that you have four businesses. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And I'm, I'm, my question is this, like, if one of your businesses, you make $100 an hour, just hear me out real quick, and this business is going to make $50 an hour. Why would you leave $100 an hour to make $50 an hour? Or are you planning to grow this and then hire somebody to take it over? It's just, these are the, like, I've expanded businesses. And when you go into a new market or a new line, you have to kind of weigh what is the end point of what you're trying to accomplish. Um, and if you're a solopreneur, your time is the most valuable asset you have. And yeah. to give it away at half the margin or something, you know, only, it, you know, it, potentially hurts you. And then the other thing that you probably just realize in life, it's that you get out what you put into it. So yeah. if you're going to put half effort, you can't, at least in my experiences, I can't expect to hit a home run if I do half effort. So I'm just saying, I'm challenging you to think about your situation and wonder where does it fit in your long-term, I guess I'm playing coach, but where does it fit in your long-term kind of goals. That's all. I, I think your yeah. mission is great. I just, I wonder how you're going to be able to handle multiple hats, multiple, you know, just might be something to think about. That's all. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. And the one thing, sometimes I will, I've worked with a couple, or I, I know of some amazing business coaches, 
but I'm always like, look, I want to make, I want to have the most fun for my time, right? This, my social media BFF doesn't pay me the most, but I enjoy my time doing it a lot. <laughs> so that's one reason why I've kept it going and I'm still working it because when I do have the meetings, it's not my highest paying bucket, but it is the one that I find very fulfilling and I enjoy it. And then what I'm finding really cool is that I'm connecting with some awesome clients that over even the last two years, I've formed some amazing relationships with people that have been my clients that I can then go to when I need help with something or, you know, just sure. the, that those authentic relationships are awesome. So it's, I know it's a little weird. It's not my most high paying thing, but I do, I do have the most fun doing it. And I find that I am like the most me. So <laughs> well, that makes it work. It's it just, you've asked yourself those questions and that's that, yeah. you know, I just, you know, again, I don't know you that well, but I don't want you to go down a road that, you know, leads to ruin for lack of a better word. You know, it's, yeah. you've, you've set a standard and you're obviously meeting that standard and that's awesome. I mean, again, the quality is, is, is as important as anything. I agree with you. Yeah. Well, Thank good you. luck. Good luck. Good <laughs> luck. Next Thank we have so Rosemary. Hi, Ellie. <clears throat> so um, I was thinking a little bit more about um, kind of uh, low cost and time investments and how to get uh, sort of additional clients. Um, one of the things I wonder is, have you, I, the QR code is awesome. Have you done, a, a, I'll call it a flyer for lack of a better word, or a handout or something that when you're talking to prospective clients or potentially people who could recommend you to prospective clients, you could give them in addition to the code, which is very cool. But I'm thinking like, you know, in addition to your scan me, a headline, your, your name says it all, your, your scan me gives contact, content and contact information, but the ROI for the prospect kind of needs to be there, right? So um, I think another way to say it is what's in it for your prospective client. So you can help them be a social media savvy, but what did they get out of their investment and their time and money with you? And okay. just putting those three pieces together, what do they get out of it? How do they contact you? And how do you work with them, right? So you've got two out of those three here, um, something really crisply done like that. Um, then when you do find people that you want to connect with, it's a real quick uh, kind of turnaround. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're I, I just put yeah, it into Ellie. the chat, but set up a social media uh, um, or a ambassadors program. And everybody that graduates, you can offer them the opportunity where uh, to be an ambassador for you and to be a social media star. And yeah. you can give them <laughs> Starbucks cards or other types of things to reward them for a certain number of uh, referrals. That's a great idea. I if you don't mind, Starbucks. I want to jump in and uh, answer your question. Um, first of all, I love your name, your social <laughs> media BFF. It, it automatically, you know, um, endears people to what you have to offer. Um, when it comes to business, you have to get into the no like trust. Uh, that's highly important. Um, and the way that you do that um, is two ways, one by meeting with them or two by constantly being able, them being able to see you. Um, and I like your QR code, but that QR code should, they should be able to scan and then you ought to be able to grab some information from them. You know, yeah, what, yeah. What, what their pain points are, what they need help with. And then that way you can target information that you send them because you can send them you know, a weekly newsletter or something like that uh, in support of those pain points. And automatically you get into the know, like, and trust. And then they can go down your, your funnel of sales, you know, sales process and sales tools that you have to offer. And it could be, it could be an online class that you already have built, or you could have a class that you uh, send people to you know, that you do on a, uh, on a monthly or a weekly or a bi-weekly basis 
that really gives them you know some of the tools and then they can do business with you from there and so there's several different tracks that you can do that if this is something that you love to do you can build all of this content and then lead them to that content based off of their their pain points and then you could also streamline this because it's everything that we do is a process and so if you could build a process behind that because uh, consistent predictable actions yield consistent predictable results and so you'll be able to measure your actions and what you're doing and see what works and either increase it or decrease it or change it so i highly recommend that you use this qr code but you use it in a way that will drive customers to you and have them stay with you by educating them constantly and being in their face because they they need to see you at least seven to 12 times and that could either be through you going live it could also be with you um uh giving a training or it could also be through your emails. It could also be through text messages with information. But if you're staying constantly in their face and they're seeing you, um, you get into the no like, and trust. Thank you. That's a really good, I, real quick. I don't, I, I was like, I wanna say this, but I don't have a, I know we ought to be quick. I do have um, a huge virtual trade show coming up. One of the clients I coached it is running it. And we came up with the idea of, I tell everybody, enter my raffle for a free consult. And then the raffle will be, they need to fill out their contact information. And then the, the trick is that everybody wins it. So everybody gets like 15 minutes with me. And then before they meet with me, they fill out a Google form that says, these are my pain points, et cetera. Then after I meet with them, I've captured their information. I know their pain points. I've, you know, had that consult and then I can continue to build up my list. So that was, that is my big June 3rd. I'm doing that trade show. So I'm excited. <laughs> so thank no, you. that's, that's great because uh, in a trade show, they get to see you. Yeah. And so that, that gets you in a no like trust even faster because they get to see you and then you you're capturing their information and then you're working with them. No, that's, that's fantastic. I'm excited about it. <laughs> Actually, when you scan, the, you could have them scan the code while they are at the trade show and fill out the form there with an option to win that you'll, everybody that fills out the form with your QR code wins and make it a big grand prize. You might get people to fill it out on the spot and yeah. get the information so you can just follow up and say, then you can get back and send them a text, send them an email. Thank you for coming by and talking to me at XYZ trade show. Um, and you can have templates for the different things that they may have checked on your um, questions that you might put that they're going to scan so that you have something for somebody who's looking for a job, you have something for somebody who's in network marketing or whatever niches you want to capture, and you can have everything just ready to fly. That would be great. That gives me a lot of good ideas. Thank you so much. Rosemary, I know you have more questions. <laughs> well, you know, Ellie, uh, you and I talked very briefly about overinvesting in the business. I didn't realize at the time that you had four gigs you were running. Um, and I was thinking when we talked over investment about money, but there's also to John Norris's point, there's time and the yeah. time value of money. Can you talk a little bit about how much time you'd like to spend? I have to tell you this virtual trade show idea of um, offering 15 minutes with you is a fantastic idea. I absolutely love it. Um, can, you, can you talk a little bit about how you're using your time either to go from these virtual events to one-on-one -on -one coaching or how you're currently looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching folks so that we could get a little bit better idea. Yeah, absolutely. So what I'm currently doing is um, mostly just networking, talking to people, going to groups, um, you know, 
talking to people on LinkedIn, that kind of stuff. But I have not been super invested in time or money in the last few months with this business. I have not done very much with it. And then I was like, oh, my baby is being neglected and I do like her. So I think I want to try to, you know, do something because it is one of those things that, my, my time also varies. So I will have just slower times in other things that I do. And then I'll find, oh, I have, you know, some more time to do this. So right now, that's what I've been doing is more of that networking. Um, I do a lot of stuff on Instagram, where I am messaging people, connecting with people, building those relationships. I don't do a lot of push marketing, like I'm not going to be sending a LinkedIn, like, hello, you could use my services. That's not me. Um, but I would be connecting with people or um, finding out like what groups they're in. I, I really enjoy networking. It's something that for me, I feel like the time investment is worth it. Because even if they don't necessarily know my ideal client, we could build a relationship and maybe a few years, even down the line, they could refer a client to any one of my businesses. Plus I could help them. So I just... I will tell you, networking is where I spend the most amount of my time right now. Um, and, you know, for better or worse, I do enjoy that. So that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad I asked you the question this way because I would not have heard about your networking. What, uh, how are you networking with whom, what groups? And then um, I can maybe fill in some gaps for you for good networking opportunities. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, so I'm going to say one and please don't judge me because people have mixed feelings, but I am in BNI. Um, so I do that and I'm active within my own chapter. Plus I visit other chapters and then I also go to all their like speed networking events. Um, that's my one paid one. So I treat that very professionally. Um, I also do the Happy Neighborhood Project. Um, and then I would like to start doing more of the One Million Cups. I have presented at a One Million Cups in Prince William County. That was great. I just got invited and I just spoke at one in North Carolina a few months ago. That was great. Um, but yeah, I I do a lot with BNI, and then I've been interested in checking out the Happy Neighborhood Project. I also do in person. I go to Prince William County for um, a networking group, and then I have my own kind of meetup on Fridays that I do. So, okay, yeah. So I haven't done all, chambers. <laughs> so. No. First of all, let me say BNI is a great um, organization. Uh, I have visited many, many BNI chapters and very, very many BNI meetings. There's lots of great people there. And if Jen Dalton was with, with us today, she'd be doing a happy dance <laughs> with that as well. Um, I'm going to uh, recommend a couple of other networking events for you as well. There's a group called Nexco. Um, they meet every other week and they are happy to have a guest come. Are you in Prince William County? No, I'm in Vienna, closer to Oakton. Okay. But I don't mind driving. I We lived for two years. My husband's in the military. We never stay in one place. So I go everywhere. <laughs> so. Okay. So first of all, I suggest that you network, and this is a very small network with Donnell Johns, because um, okay. he knows everybody connected to the military, military spouses, military business people, great, great, great human being and a great network connector, connector and connection. Um, I'd also recommend that you investigate Nexco. Okay. Uh, they have two kinds of chapters. One is core, which is B2C and one is a B2B chapter. So if you're looking for, if your ideal, com if your ideal client is a small business, you might wanna talk to someone who's running a Nexco B2B chapter. Um, they have them everywhere. If you are more B2C or solopreneur or something like that, then certainly a Nexco core chapter. I can connect you with some emails and stuff. Um, I'm gonna also recommend that if you talk with, uh, and I'll connect you separately with Lisa Nichols, who is the immediate past president of the National Association of Women Business Owners. There's a greater 
DC chapter. Uh, it was the inaugural chapter. Uh, what a fantastic group of people. They have wonderful networking opportunities. So there's another great opportunity. I'll put in a plug for Jennifer Rose and her Central Fairfax Chamber. They have women mean business subcommittees. They have local business. They do a lot of guest um, kind of events. And those are the sort of things that you can show up as a guest. You can meet other people. You can hand out your little card with the scan me and you can just meet some great folks. And whether it's a, in the Nexco lingo, a COI, a center of influence or interest or a prospective client, if you like to network, there's a million opportunities here in the DC area. So, and lots and lots around here. Oh, and by the way, John Yu um, holds all sorts of nifty things. Uh, so if you go and visit his office evolution, there's lots of folks to meet there too. Lots of opportunities here. In, in addition to, and I highly recommend, as many 1 million cups as you can do. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, I need to get back to that because it is fun. I can't do earlier than I think I was like, why did I stop going? I was in San Diego and it was so early. <laughs> so, but now that we're back on East Coast time, um, I need to do that for sure. So thank you. And yes, I would love to connect any military groups we're going to probably be well we're going to head to Virginia Beach for a little bit San Diego we hop all over so thank you so much one of the things that I want to caution you on when it comes to networking is uh, people network and try to meet everybody I think that if you go there just to meet one to two people that fit exactly what you're looking for uh, you'll you'll find more meaningful relationships and people that would people will do business with you um, that way. I, I know you see those guys that uh, walk around with a handful of business cards and they pass them out to everybody. And then they go in and those business cards go into garbage. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. Or if they, they spam you after the meeting, like, it was so nice to meet you. I'm like, I didn't even meet you though. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't remember meeting. I don't think we did meet. <laughs> yeah, thank Absolutely. you. I appreciate that. Yeah, because sometimes it, networking can definitely be quality over quantity. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. John Foster raised his hand. I did. Go ahead, John. Good, good morning, Ellie. Um, loved your presentation. And what, what you're experiencing is... Uh, something that a, a lot of other peer, people are also experiencing. And I was curious on your other four businesses, I did not knowing what they are. I didn't know if there was any leverage that you could get out of the other four businesses. And so I was curious about that. And then the other thing is, is I'm uh, you know, a, a big, a big believer and user of LinkedIn. And I think you could, pr you could probably leverage LinkedIn more going back to your question is there are things you can do which you know I'll, I'll say leveraging your content on LinkedIn and across other platforms you said you were active on Instagram so just looking for points of leverage um, and looking at LinkedIn your LinkedIn I think you have some opportunities there to leverage that you know from a time standpoint so just a couple of thoughts you know around leveraging your time and then I am curious about your other the other businesses and if there's any any leverage or synergy between those and what you're doing yeah thank you yeah no there really is i just haven't taken um i just have not invested in it lately i think i if i am more intentional about doing so i could definitely do that um I just, like I said, I have not in the past few months because I've sort of felt like a whirlwind. Um, but then I said, <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, but now is the time where I'm like, oh, okay, I would like to do this more um, and really more share with my other networks what I am doing. I am going to use, even though I've been in business for two years with this, I am going to do uh, like a grand opening for the virtual trade show. I'm going to be calling it my grand opening. So I'm going to invite people from the other businesses that I do 
come to the grand opening, I just changed the name. It was just Ellie Goldstein. I just came up with your social media BFF. So that's new. Um, and then I just decided to do cons consulting rather than just the courses, but more like one-to-one. So I think that will really, really help. That's a great idea because then I can invite just multiple networks to come to my quote unquote grand opening. So. And if, if I can just jump in for, for two other things. One is um, the, a company page on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. um, just thinking about that, you know, while you're working on the website and stuff, at least you have a place to go to, to, to kind of highlight that. And then the other thing is, if you are interested, somebody brought up earlier with regards to, um, you know, I, I do a lot of work in the, uh, the, in the uh, employment world. And so for people who are looking, and there are a lot of people out there that are in this, um, you know, decision point about do I go, you know, W-2 or do I go to a gig? And so there are potentially is opportunity there. So if you're looking for speaking opportunities, I might be able to help. Awesome. Thank you so much, John. Ellie, I've been typing a lot of ideas into the chat rather Thank than saying, you. just so you know. And it was funny because I had just typed the ideas that Rosemary added after I had finished adding them there. The women's groups are really a great place for you because women like to support women. Um, yeah. And there are a whole bunch of them all over Northern Virginia, DC and Maryland. I forgot to say that I do want um, a polka dot powerhouse and they, they asked me, they just asked me to be their event coordinator. So I'm going to start doing a, a coffee meetup. So that's a great idea too, because they're great. Once again, it's a small kind of group. We meet at Chewy's and Woodbridge. And so it's kind of small, but I want to keep growing that. And it's a good, it's a really good group too. So thank you. That's a the good last idea. thing I'm going to throw out. Nobody said it yet is start going through meetup. Look and see where you think there may be some things that you want to get involved with. Okay. And now it's time for the last question that Danelle's going to ask. <laughs> okay. Give me one second to get there. There we go. Yeah, so Ellie, no, great, great presentation. Uh, great feedback and answers from the group. But I have a final question. Um, what can our One Million Cups community uh, do for you we already did it <laughs> <laughs> other than that other than that <laughs> um i think that the follow-up what, what people suggested was amazing i really appreciate that uh rosemary said she was going to email me um M melinda gave you some great advice so thank you so much um and then i love to meet with lisa for the website as well so um i would just say if you you know if you're out and about and have someone say man i am struggling i i want to i wish i wish i could do that on social media say hey be my friend ellie she would love to meet you you know that would be great i love i love connections word of mouth is i think always the best if someone i'm always so honored if somebody would say hey talk to my friend ellie see if she can help you she's your social media bff so. <laughs> thanks talk to my bff ellie so i'm saying that to the group talk to my bff ellie yes she can help you <laughs> yes so Team, everybody, let's give her a, a hand. Thank you for uh, being a part of this community today and thank you for coming to present. Uh, for all of you that want the same type of pretty cool feedback that Ellie got today, we would love to have you present. Go to the number one millioncups.com forward slash Fairfax. And I don't know a business owner out there that doesn't need this type of support. I don't care how big or how small you are. We do, we do like uh, small businesses, but we've had um, big organizations as well come and present. So thank you so much, Ellie. And thank you guys for being here. Next slide. We actually have a vacancy next week, but if, if you're interested in presenting next week and you're on here, uh, please let us know. I have somebody who might want to, I will ask her today. 
I'll call her right now after this meeting and ask her if she's interested. That would be wonderful. And if you could have her go to the, the 1 million cups and, and put her application in and we can get that approved and get her, um, get her signed up all for next week. All right, so we're open for the next two months. So we need to fill up our pipeline. We need all of your help, uh, our ambassadors, our members that come. If you, uh, if you have a business or know people with a business uh, and they need some support and some free marketing and advertising and stuff that they can use to grow their business, we would be happy to have them. Next slide. The 18th, by the way, is taken. We're okay. Just, we need, need a little more voting on them. <laughs> Sounds good. Also, if you're interested in becoming an organizer, uh, we have some availability. Uh, it's a great time. We have a great crew of people. You get to hang with people like John, you and Rosemarie and Melinda. Uh, once a week on Monday, we, uh, we powwow for 30 minutes to get this thing together and make it look professional for you. Uh, it's only 30 to 45 minutes out of your time and then probably another 15 to 20, you know, working with uh, one, of our, uh, one, one of our presenters. Next slide. These are our upcoming events. Uh, I'm going to read them one by one since we have time. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> but these are uh, these are some of the upcoming events uh, with the uh, Central Fairfax Chamber of Commerce. You can find these on their website. Um, they they do some pretty cool stuff within our community, and we're de we're definitely ha happy to have them as a partner. Next slide. Thank you all for coming here. Thank you for including us in your journey of a business. And we'd love to spend time with you. Uh, at that, that concludes everything. We're a Kauffman Foundation organization. And we're here every Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. every Wednesday since 2018. Thank you, guys. Are we off awesome. Facebook yet? No, I'm about to hit the off the Facebook button.